Welcome back, fellow tamers, and I might have to get a drink soon. Um, this is your King Wellick speaking, and we're picking up a new quest, Dangerous Requests. Black Powder. And where would we be getting this black powder? From a deputy mon, of course. Why not? So, yeah, um, discussions about tyrants, discussions about 3x5s. Okay, if you have a 3x5, um, my advice to you, stick strong, oh yeah, stick strongly with it. You're not wasting anything by giving it a BM item or whatnot. That is my only advice. Because if you fruit it right, you clone it right, you uh, give it the right uh, skill points, you wouldn't have a problem with it. Because, believe me, I've had a 3x5, raised it up to level 93, or 95, I can't remember what 90, because it was on Lusamon. And he took me far. We went through, uh, I don't want to say distorted data again, uh, Continental Server. Did he just clink my Agumon? <laughs> that was a funny sound. Anyway, I went through server continent with it, it took me very far, and I had no problems with it. Heck, I went all the way up to the maze on the third floor with it, and he's still helping me with quests. If I was able to get in there. Sadly, I can't. What is this? Get out of here. No, I don't want you. I already got my Mr. Er, uh... I forgot the name of that egg. Uh, miracle egg. I don't need it anymore. <sighs> so we are at three to eight. We need five more. So this discussion continues. So, yeah, you can you can raise it however you want, as long as you keep it skill based. You have nothing to worry about. And that being said, raising a 3x5 isn't a waste of time. I've, I've done it. I've used it. I soloed Chimeramon with it. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, it is your Digimon, your choice. Do whatever you want. But if you want to go with a stronger Digimon, like everyone suggests, raise a 4x5. No one's going to, or no one should care. Why can't- oh, this one's an NPC, and I was trying to hit him. Stupid me. But, yeah, no one should care. It's not their Digimon. They have no business in telling you what is a waste of time. And if I were you, I'd tell them to mind their own business. It's pretty much simple. If they can't stand to be around it, tell them to change channels. And if they keep calling you a noob, just ignore them. Put them on your block list. They really don't matter. Why do I keep aiming for him? So, yeah. It's, it's a matter of opinion. That's all it is. I mean, I've never had a problem with 3x5s. Ever. You ask me once, I say they're good. They're about as good as any Digimon, seriously. So, if anybody gives you a hard time telling them to back off or block them, that's all I gotta say. Because no one needs that uh, on their conscience. But, I think they're pretty good. I mean, I've raised Dramogimon from level uh, 3, Digiag. I never had a problem with him. In fact, Gallantmon was level 3 Digi-Egg. Never had a problem with him. 
In fact, I had to hatch Gilmon three times in the Lucimon server. Once because it was a normal egg, twice because it was a 4x5, and the second time, or the first time I got a 4x5 egg from someone who was supposed to be a friend, he got mad at me because I accidentally hatched him at a 3x5. He said, You wasted the egg, the opportunity to hatch a first 4x5. And I said, Sorry. I just heard that ding, and then the first thing I thought of was like, Oh, crap. I wanted to hatch it so bad. So I made up for it. One event later, I got a new Gilmon egg. Just by thinking of it. Whenever the event came out, they dropped a Gilmon egg in my uh, cash shop warehouse. I took it out, I hatched it into a 4x5. Which was nice. It was refreshing to have a 4x5 in my team. And I was thinking about hatching more. Now, in courtesy of having a good Digimon set, you know, for me it would be the Royals. That's why I named my guild the Royal Knights. I founded the guild with Imperial German Paladin, enough said. And basically I did not need a event to give me the Paladin Sword because I had good friends to help me out. They welcomed the opportunity to uh, give them to me and, well, when offered I took it. So. Whenever it comes to BM items being uh, handed out to me, I do things in return. And those things require me doing quests, carding, or anything that they need for that matter in uh, return for uh, an item to trade, like a burst mode item for instance. And I don't mind. Honestly, I do not mind. At least they had the understanding that I had a hard time collecting terrors because I don't have a cash shop set up at DATS that gives me or any sell price worth of items to give. So even if I did, I would not put it as high as 9,999 M's or 99 terrors. Sorry. <clears throat> and with that being said, play for free, play well, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 